Hello, hello, welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 2.5. We are going to indeed be working on Botania today. Uh, again, we are greeted without Des Moines, uh, because holidays were not, uh, and uh, yeah, Botania. Uh, that's why I actually have the cactus hat on. It's called the prick. Uh, what? Oh. 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 Right, I forgot about this. Uh, last episode when we did the base tour, uh, I should have brought this up, but uh, I, I had done a bunch of uh, XP stuff in the uh, Nether to uh, get the experience seeds. Um... Apparently killed enough zombie pigmen to get the uh, trophy to drop, so yeah, we have infinite gold nuggets from the trophy. Um, you can get one every five minutes or something like that, if I remember correctly. Makes pigmen noises though when you right-click it. Uh, it's actually kind of cool. Uh, there, there is a trophy for each mob that I'm aware of, uh, but yeah. What I want to do, by the way, today is that there are some uh, wands here, or rods rather. Uh, like Rod of the Shifting Cross I want to make. Which requires a rune of sloth, which requires a rune of autumn and air. Rune of autumn requires air and fire. Uh, rune of air requires this stuff. It. it what? Oh, whoops. Uh, it, it gets it gets complicated, very very fast. Like holy crap. Uh, so yeah, we we need to come up with a means to automate some of those things. And I'm not sure how. I know it takes mana. Um, I know it takes those items that it provides. And I know that they have to be dropped on here. Uh, what I don't know is the entire process for this. So we need to read uh, similarly about it. Uh, right clicking this block with an empty hand after a recipe is complete, replace back the items used for the last recipe for faster mass crafting. Oh, wait, really? Wait, that works for the petal apothecary too? I had no idea. I, okay. Well, I just learned something about the uh, Petal Apothecary. Yeesh. Uh, but yeah, we... we t like, fishing rods? Um, those don't stack easily. So, we need access to all of these recipes on a bit more of a scale. Uh, I am confused, though. So, like, l let's see. What, what it was a rune of error? Uh, it was carpet, mana steel, mana powder, let me, let me actually type this out. Uh, feather, string, carpet, any color, mana steel, ingot, and, uh, mana powder? Mana powder. And it was one of each, right? Yeah, and that's gonna give me two runes of air. Um, so if I get that from here, a feather. Uh, let's actually grab a stack of feathers. String, stack string, uh, carpet, which we do not have a recipe for, so we got some carpet, um, let's see, can we make some wool, yeah, I'm going to tell you to make up 2,000 wool, just so I have it, alright, so we got a stack of uh, carpet, uh, mana, steel, ingots, we only have 50 of, and what, what, how did you make these again? Iron ingots in the mana infusion pool. Uh, and mana powder, which we got 13. And that was redstone? No, gunpowder. Okay, so if we get some gunpowder and some iron ingots and throw those onto this. I'm going to take out the bobble. That will give us a bunch of stuff only because we have the mana prepared for it. Okay. Whoops. Oh, whoops. There we go. Okay. So we got the stuff uh, in, in stacks at the very least. So I throw this at it. Yeah. And then one of each. Uh, the mana steel. I missed mana steel. Mana steel and that. Oh, okay, so there's a little progress bar there. Okay, now I need to right-click this with the, the, the wand thing. Uh, wand of the forest. Function mode, right-click. 
plus oh living living rock or living stone living rock that was living rock I'm confused. How do I? What? Why does it say it's not ready now? Did I get the rune of air? No. Um. I should probably read the Lexica Botania then because I obviously did something wrong. Uh, runic creation is a rather important complex on the advancement of the botanical magics. First and foremost, though, this type of crafting requires a decent knowledge of mana manipulation before proceeding. Read through the important entries, those italics on that section of the Lexica Botania might prove enlightening. Okay. Uh, I, I understand the whole mana thing to some degree. I may not know how to generate all of it, but um, I know there are flowers that went out of it all. Uh, runes are extremely important components of complex magical devices or flora. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, in order to create these, one would require a runic altar. We got one. Do you realize this runic altar? Start by placing via either right click or simply tossing the components to the rune you want to create. Proceed by pointing a mana spider to the altar so that mana transfer can occur. It should be apparent when the altar has enough mana. When that happens, just drop a piece of living rock on top of it or right click with it and use the wand on it again to collect your rune. Okay. Just drop a piece of living rock on top of it or right click with it and then use a wand on it again to receive your wound. Ah. Ah. Okay. I see. So I, I had the living rock in this wrong spot, but this is how you get the runes of air. Okay. I see. Hmm. That is weird. How much time does that take? For this one. Five, six. So 12 seconds, it looks like, maybe? I'm guessing 12 seconds. Huh. Spectralist. Generating flower. Profiting off hate. What? Dandelion? Say it'll be. <laughs> Such is life. Uh, Haprock. Okay, so there, there, there's a lot of stuff from Britannia that I'm not aware of how to make. Uh, huh. Okay, um. Hmm. Brings me up to my next question. How much mana did this use? I don't know how much was in there to begin with. Uh, we also need to feed these end of flames, by the way. They're, they're kind of like a, a, a furnace in Botanium uh, for mana generation. Um, I've been feeding them block of coal. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know how close you need to be for the flower to grab it, but. Um, Pretty close enough normally. Alright, so we're gonna regenerate some mana here. Alright, so with that, um, let's take another look at the Lexica Botania. Okay, so we we can put the living rock on it uh, right away. Um, see by pointing a mana spot? Okay. Most basic and elementary runes are named after the four elements, and intermediate runes are named after the four seasons, and the most advanced runes are named after the seven deadly sins. A separate rune of mana also exists. Okay. Uh, attaching a comparator to it will emit signal strength 1 if the altar is accepting mana, and signal strength 2 if it's ready to craft the rune. We can use this to our advantage for automation. Any runes used for recipes in the runic altar function as catalyst and will be given back upon completion of the rune recipe. Wait. Really? 
So if we try to make a rune of uh, fire, because I think we need one, don't we? I'm, I'm going to bookmark that page. Uh, we need a rune of sloth for this, which requires a rune of air and a rune of autumn. We already have the air one, but uh, we need the fire one. Okay, so that was for rune of uh, air. I'm going to mark this off for another, another brick uh, item. Gunpowder, another ward, which we apparently are going to need a farm for, mana steel ingot, and mana powder. Uh, was that five items? Yeah, so that's going to give me uh, two runes of fire. Uh, let's get that recipe in our inventory, and uh, while we're at it, I'm going to upgrade our ring of magne uh, magnetization. Normally you have to... Uh, Transmute mana steel ingots or something. <laughs> you get terra steel while tossing the right materials on a terrestrial agglomeration plate. I have no idea what the hell that is, but uh, uh, fluid cows for the win. I, I will be upgrading that to a greater ring of magnetization just because it can. Uh, in the meantime, let's get those I items, shall we? If I can spell. Uh, oh good, I actually have those. I was wondering if I had those or not. Let's get uh, gunpowder, no, th Neha Wart, another wart, which, why do we have so much of? Oh, probably from sifting soul sand. Uh, mana steel ingots, which we have on us, and mana powder, which we have on us. Okay, l l let's, let's create uh, one of these then. We need another wart, mana steel, and mana powder. And a living rock. Okay, they gave us the two runes of fire. And then with this. We can create the Rune of Autumn, which requires three oak leaves, uh, one of each rune, and a spider eye. I do not have shears on me. Um, do I hit? I, I mean, I have the shovel. The the honest, shiny shovel, or whatever the hell it's called, but uh, the <laughs> shears will work. Let's go ahead and grab six blocks because I want to make one for Des Moines as well. I don't know if he's going to use it or not, but uh, why am I jumping? I can fly. Great, I think jumping is still faster. Um, yeah, I, I want to make one for Des Moines. I don't know if he's going to use it or not, but uh, we'll see. also need spider eye. Alright. Rune of Fire, Rune of Air, that, and three of those. Starting to make it. it. Seems like these runes take the same amount of time as well. That's interesting. And it was saying that the uh, runes are just used as catalysts? And we should get them back and they're not part of the actual recipe? We do get them back. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I have a few. I, I, I'm having a few ideas of how to automate this. Um, the collection bit's going to be a bit annoying, though. Okay, so we have that. Uh, now what? All right, we need a rune of autumn, a rune of air, and two mana diamonds for the rune of sloth. Uh, do we have mana diamonds? We do. So it seems like you only really need like a, a few of the runes to uh, make some of the later ones. I'm trying to think of how to tell AE2 that uh, throwing in these uh, runes will give you the runes back. I wonder if there's any recipes that take up uh, more than two uh, runes to make it. Because if not, I can make a uh, machine recipe. 
that states what it should be doing. As in, you putting in a rune of fire, or, or a, a rune of autumn and a rune of air, you'll get a rune of sloth, rune of air, and rune of autumn out of it. But I also need to make sure it doesn't think that it can just duplicate the runes. Hmm. I don't know how I can actually tie that into AE2. I, I, I can definitely automate it through outside means, but uh, trying to tie that into AE2 crafting system? Not entirely sure on that one. Uh, but yeah, we have a rune of uh, sloth now. Uh, so, do we have living wood twigs? We do. Awesome. Um, Rune of Sloth requires that stuff, and there we go. So, what the Rune of the Shifting Crust does is, uh, it'll take one block and replace it with another one. Uh, for example, if I wanted to... Let's say, um, let's, let's, let's get some dirt. So let's clean up my inventory just a bit, because that that's a lot of stuff on me, and I just threw away my toast into the system. Alright, let's get some dirt. And we have a bit of dirt. Okay, good enough. Let's get some dirt, just for an example of this rod and its power. Uh, I'm going to put a block of dirt down, shift right click it, and now I can not change out the bottom because I don't have any mana stuff on me. Which means, I need uh, the mana tablet. And to throw it in here. And then to change it. Wait. There we go. So that's partially filled. We'll continue filling here. Uh, we also need to get some more fuel for that. Which I threw those blocks back in here. One, two, three, four, five. What is the pickup range of the greater? I wonder. Oh, actually pretty good. Alright, we, we have quite a bit of mana now. Now let's do it. So... Change! Yeah, that, that, that is pretty much the uh, rod of shifting crust. It, uh... I was going to quickly change up blocks, so like if I wanted to build cobblestone, for example, just to kind of get a general idea of the building, uh, I, I could then come back and uh, replace it all with the actual material I want. You do have to have the material in your inventory to replace it out. Uh, I don't know if there's a silk touch version of this rod. Oh, it even tells you what uh, kind of block it's holding. Yeah, taking it's holding living wood, great wood leaves. Uh, oh, by the way, the, these uh, these trees here are uh, custom made. I, I I very much like this one right here, actually. Uh, but yeah, th that is Rod of the Shifting Crust. I, I know I have uh, screwed up quite a few times with building every once in a while. And uh, this rod will definitely become very, very useful for me. Uh, there's also a few other rods that I would like to make. But... I think we're running out of time for all those. Uh, we, we will take a look at some of these other ones though. The Rod of Disguise is a magical instrument with the ability to propel one in the air at fast velocity for the cost of some mana. To do so, one would simply hold it like a bow and watch as your momentum increases. Uh, so it's like a, a weaker version of our flight. Uh, Terraforma would also be useful if this wasn't a sky block map. Uh, digging away at dirt with a shovel is definitely functional. Finding huge tracts of land can somewhat t uh, torturous at times. Yes, yes it does. Uh, it's possible to terraform in a quick and environmentally friendly manner. This rod will at the cost of some mana from the user's inventory. Find the land to the level you are standing for this uh, to happen. Charge by holding right click and slowly but surely the nearby terrain will be flattened to your level either by placing dirt or by removing blocks. Uh, note that blocks removed by the block, uh, removed by the rod are non-recoupable. The terrain will adapt to the changes as best as it can, up to a distance limit to avoid cuts and hills and the like. For this, the flattening will work in the terrain's natural look. Lastly, the rod will cease to function whatsoever below sea level. 
so not useful for uh, below Y64, but anything above that works. And I think we are... What, what Y level are we actually had here? 65, so we're just above C level here. So this may work here. Uh, we would have to get quite a few different runes, though, and pasture seeds and rotted lands, which we have not made. Uh, there's some other ones, too. Uh, rotted lands, by the way, just creates dirt with from mana. Uh, molten core turns cobblestone, stone, sand, and glass, etc. So like a furnace. Uh, ore finding, and I hear the heater is kicked on, so we're going to have to finish up this episode. Uh, fairly quickly. Uh, to, to know the rotted seas with the cost of swimming placed on a water block wherever it's used. Furthermore, it can also be used to refill a petal of pothic. Oh, really? Interesting. And there are some others on here. Rod of the Hells. Uh, so it's like a, a flint and steel. Rod of the Depths. Um, uh, Rod of the Lands does the dirt. This does cobblestone. So, alternative means to do some of this stuff, but uh, the Rod of the Shifting Sands is going to be very, very nice. Uh, or Shifting Crust, I should say. But uh, yeah, that'll actually be it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this one and actually getting a bit through Britannia. Uh, we did not make the Mana Pylons, unfortunately. Is there a search? There really should be a search. Um... The Mana Pylon? No. I, I wanted to uh, take a quick look at the, the Mana Pylon recipe. Uh, yeesh. History. History. Nope. Okay. I don't know where it is, then. Uh, it could be under miscellaneous. I don't know. Nope. Uh, Mana Pylon. Pylon? I don't know where it is. It's somewhere in here. Uh, but yeah, we didn't get to make those, which would replace some of the, uh, bookshelves of their, um, oh, there it is, uh, for the enchanting table. And just two of these are enough for it to reach level 30, and so we could only have two of these instead of, uh, a bunch of those. Oh, actually, holy crap, these are actually really cheap. I had no idea those were so cheap. Uh, what are we missing? Mana steel? We have it. Okay, we are going to do that now, apparently, even though the heater is running, and I hate it. Okay, so we can go up to level 30 enchants now, apparently, on this thing, which is the, uh, these two mana pylons, which looks a hell of a lot better over here, doesn't it? I don't know if they require a, uh... As a searcher that can pull energies from the earth and use them to power enchanting processes. For one, setting one adjacent to an enchanting table as if it was a bookshelf would drastically increase the power it can convey. Just two of these are enough for each to level 30. Okay. Uh, so it doesn't say it needs mana or anything. That I'm aware of. Uh, let's... Let's see about getting a, a sword or something that, um... We can attempt to enchant a diamond axe, will work just fine. I, I'm curious to know if it will actually be there or not. Or if I did something wrong here. Nope, goes up to level 30, so yeah, all those bookshelves are now just those two mana pylons. Alright, that'll be it now for sure on this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, Botania. Because I, I am definitely very much interested in learning more about it and kind of playing through it. Um, I do want to check out everything with it. But uh, yeah, that'll be for now. Until next time, as always, take it easy.